Hi everybody, welcome back to MD Fly Fishing. Well, I went out to Pennine yesterday, 26th of November, spent the day there. It was about 12, 14 anglers, uh, very cold. We were waiting for the rain to come, but it didn't materialise, but the wind did and the cold. I took out a number of beaded bugs, um, a bit like zonkers in a way, a little bit smaller than a snake, but not necessarily the colour all the way through. These I'd tied up earlier in the week and I'd, and I'd used some at Rippenden Fly Fishers, the smaller ones, and they worked well. I caught two fish before I turned the camera on because I was going to see if they worked. If it didn't work, then it was a waste of time for me, but they did work. The small, the small gold head black with a white tail, size 12, that got a nice fish, so I switched to another one, size 10, gold head, black body with a red and black tail, that got another fish. Um, I did actually catch because Steve was in the shed watching me and he'd pointed me in this area saying fish had been showing because everybody else was along the damn wall in the far side. Not a lot of fish came out today. I think the best bag was about 9 or 10 and the biggest fish was about £8. The black with the white tail was on a floating line and the red tail with black gold head that was on an intermediate line. Let it go down about 3 or 4 foot. However... Switch to a snake, them two work, let's switch to a snake. Slight modification, I put some mm -hmm. sparkle underneath it. I'd seen some fish rising in the distance. There's about three or four of them together, so I decided I'm going to drop this just beyond them and bring it through quite quickly, of which I did. And then, as I came past them, I could see a fish following it. Yes, so I just kept the same speed, didn't speed it up, brought it in, brought it in, brought it in, and then just, and then just gently raised the rod up and about half a rod out, fish took it. Simple as that. So that proved that this snake worked. Um, I think I've got them off eBay. They're just a bog standard snake, get quite a few of them. I'll leave a, a link in the description about them. And I'll also put some links in for if anybody wants to tie their own uh, zonker, stalking, small snake flies, whatever they are, beaded black bodies, with a nice colourful two-tone tail. I'll leave a link where I got the two-tone from. What's your favourite fly? What, what's, what's a fly that gets you trout in winter? But leave a comment. I've actually made some up already and sent them out to a few individuals. Some have gone out to Northern Ireland. Some have gone out to the north of England just so they can uh, have a go with them, tell me how they work on their waters. So hopefully I should get some reports back. came across another fly Friday night going through YouTube. Um, I tie a lot of midge patterns and this was a midge pattern with a gold head and I thought this is a nice one. The weight of it will keep it under a bone. So I tied a couple, put them in my box. I've got thousands. Anyway, I caught on the snake, I caught on the white tail, I caught on the red tail. I'd seen a few fish rising and a few fish were, and a few people were using indicators. So I put this midge pattern under an indicator about two foot down just off to my right and I thought well give it a go you know, the guy said the best fly in the world as they always do on these YouTube videos I was in the water about 30 seconds I'd taken my hand off the line and I just saw the indicator boom go so I quickly had to grab the line brought it in it was only small about a pound and a half but hey it worked another fish another fly that works that's what I mean some buzzers do work in winter but only at certain times of the day you just got to get it. Again, have you got a favourite buzzer that you use in winter? Leave a comment. Keep still. Yeah, you can go there. Move position, change onto a yellow tail with a pink tip, put it on um, an intermediate and then just stripped it back very fast because <coughs> nothing was catching at slow figure of eight or fast figure of eight. Bang, straight in, fish on, blue trout, had a bit of a fight, it got off. But they were still interested in it, that's the thing that interested, that's what I'm interested in. So, let's move position again because nothing else was catching in that area. I spent another 40 minutes there and nothing else happened. Oh, I really like it.
So I walked down the path, ended up at George's corner, which is the bottom left-hand corner of the dam wall. Fish the same yellow and pink tip gold head. Not a lot of interest. Saw some fish hanging around, but I think this might be too big to use as a stalking bug as such. So I got my clippers out and cut the tail off, just leaving a small green tag. Put that in front of the fish, did it the old tweak, 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 tweak. Hey presto, fish took it. But then it did a runner. It went off towards where the posts and there's some underwater obstructions there. I thought, I'm going to lose it because you can hear me say, oh no. But anyway, fish got off. I don't think I struck into it well enough. But I know the reports over the day were uh, 12 to 14 fishermen. I think the best bag was about nine fish. Uh, and the biggest fish was about eight pound. Check out the Pennine Facebook page for George's fish. 31 pound rainbow trout. It's massive. It broke Andy's scales. Anyway, until next time everybody, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.